Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're doing your daily reading for Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. Of course, welcome back to all of you who are returning. Wednesdays, we do some midweek motivation here. We're not really trying to predict any energy of the day or anything like that. We're just getting some words of advice or wisdom from spirit here to help lift you up, help motivate you. Um, Wednesdays, people tend to get a little bit, oh, the glass half empty, glass half full, right? How are you halfway through the week or, you know, is there still a whole halfway week, a halfway of the week left? So let's have a look and see what messages that spirit has for you. We're going to start with a little bit of unicorn magic today. Ah, and we have go with the flow. Ah, oh, easier said than done some days, isn't it? When we go with the flow, we accept, we release, we relax, we trust that we're on the right path. We don't create mountains out of molehills. We don't get in our own way. And this is what spirit wants you to do today, to be in the flow, be in the flow of the universe, be in the flow of, um, you know, your environment around you, your relationships, your workplace, and just within you here. Okay. And sometimes, you know, um, I'm feeling a little bit of an obstacle or a challenge that you may be faced with in the day ahead. And if that's the case, you know, when we're in the flow, what happens is life happens, right? Um, life will throw something at you. You can't necessarily control that, right? Other influences, other factors at play. So you can't necessarily um, control when life throws you a bit of a curveball. Curve what you can control is how you deal with it. And that is part of the key to being in the flow. Because otherwise what we do is we sit there and we rail at the fates and we get mad that we're, you know, that something's been put in our path and some obstacle has been thrown at us and, you know, someone hit us out of left field with something. We get mad about that, but that doesn't do any good, does it? Right. We focus too much on the problem. We focus too much on woe is me. Right. And that doesn't work uh, at all. And then we can't see the forest through the trees. We can't see the solution to a problem because we're so worried about why did this problem come my way or, you know, and so spirit says here, just accept some things you can change, some things you cannot change. And if life throws you a curveball, OK, Focus on a solution. Focus on, oh, okay, well, that was fun. I didn't expect that today. Okay, let's roll up our sleeves. Let's get to work and let's see how we can correct the situation. It's a completely different mindset. Spirit also wants some of you to relax just a little bit. Just relax. Um, again, either easier said than done sometimes. It's kind of like telling a hysterical person to stay calm, right? Not the most helpful um, message always, okay? But, you know, sometimes we do need to just take a step back. We do need to just uh, take a chill pill, as they, as they used to say, right? I'm probably dating myself with that one, um, you know, and... But there's a whole purpose behind saying that, right? It's like, you know, like water off a duck's back, just accept what it is, accept what you can change, deal with things that you can't, you know, just find those solutions, take a load off and uh, be in the flow, right? Sometimes we try and control our situation and our outcome a little bit too much. I'm feeling a little bit of also, some of you have been working hard to manifest some things into your world. And spirit wants you to know in that energy that it's very important and it's a key part of manifestation to set your intentions, live in the feelings for, you know, a good 10 minutes while you're setting those intentions and then kiss it goodbye. Okay, just like put your intentions on a train, kiss that train goodbye, wave goodbye from the station and then don't think about it again. Okay, but be open and receptive for when something may happen to come your way or when you do discover something, okay? And we quite often forget to do that, okay? And we go back to the drawing board over and over and over and over and over again to bring some manifestations to light. But every time we revisit that intention, it's like we're erasing it and then rewriting it. And then we wonder why we why we have delays. So just like a 
pot of water. If you put a pot of water on the stove, you've got to walk away because a watched pot never boils, right? Same thing with manifestation. So be in the flow. We also have cocoon of white light. Okay, so this brings in some beautiful energy of inspiration, um, of peace, of calm, of understanding. Pay very close attention to your intuition today. There may be something here that you need to change or there may be some changes that are headed your way. And here your intuition will tell you how to deal with things. You also have the ability to change your outlook and change your own perspective of things, all right? But this is also a card of love and peace and, you know, really feeling connected and feeling at and feeling that oneness, not just with yourself, but also with the universe and those around you. And spirit wants to remind you here that everything is interconnected. We are all connected by this universal white light. Okay. And it feels like here that you are also being a little bit protected today in some way. Um, and if you are faced with a situation where maybe it's like energy draining or anything like that, um, protect your own energy. Okay. Um, just that, you know, cause we do find ourselves in those situations that are draining and that are tiring. Um, and we can't always control that. Right. Um, but what we can control is how we're dealing with it. So whether you set intention to have a uh, white light of protection around you, or you might work with some crystals, okay? Um, there is this little bit of protection that's around you, but I'm also feeling here that you are being guided down a certain path. Uh, it's like there's um, a very calm, firm, reassuring um, hand on your shoulder, showing you the path, showing you the way, showing you that things are going to be okay, and if things are shifting and changing in your world, this is a good thing. Okay, we're afraid of change as people um, because people and humans are very much creatures of habit, right? We don't like change. We like stability and order in our world. And that's not really how things work. So let's get a couple more messages out here. I'm going to get a couple of runes cards out. I left my actual runes over at my parents' house in the chaos of and people coming and going a little bit three months early. But uh, anyways, it's all good. It's all good. So we have Ansys coming out here. And this is reiterating this connection because this is bringing in some sort of answers, revelations, or insights into your world. Be open and receptive, okay? You can visualize something. You can see something. It's all about communication of all kinds. Pay attention to those signs, symbols, and synchronicities. Pay attention to those intuitive hits that you're getting, those little gut feelings that you're getting. There's something coming through for you, okay? You're being shown the way. You're being guided. Um, you're being reminded of something here as well. And quite often we do get those messages as signs of encouragement on our journey as well, especially in those times when something's just not quite going our way, okay, or we think that it's not quite going our way. This is also um, bringing you some blessings uh, as well. And sometimes we can get the blessing of deeper insights of deeper levels of understanding. Um, but communication of all kinds, uh, is certainly, um, very beneficial to you right now. Okay. So keep the lines of communication open, not just with yourself and not just with spirit, but also with other people in your world. And don't be afraid to take someone's advice. Because someone may have some words of insight or wisdom for you and sometimes we block that off because we get stubborn. Our ego gets in the way and we're like, no, I can do this on my own. I don't need anyone else's advice or input. But sometimes we need to listen because sometimes people have those life experiences and those little pearls of wisdom that we don't necessarily have. So take the advice that is coming your way, okay? And especially, you know, especially if you are seeing things like repeating numbers, when you do see those, sometimes we see them over and over and over again, like 1111, 555, okay, things like that. I'm currently seeing those too, so that's my journey that I'm on right now. They change all the time. But uh, anyways, so, you know, lots of changes in my world in this year, um, but it's all about the fives this year for me, so... Anyway, um, but pay attention when you do see those, because sometimes we see them over and over again. They catch our attention, they catch our eye, but then we kind of dismiss it or we just carry on with our day. And it's important to just stop, 
for a second. What were you thinking of? What were you feeling at that time? What was your energy at that time? Where were you at that time? And you know, this will give you a little bit of insight as to why you're seeing that particular repeating number. Also, um, look it up. Okay, look up those repeating numbers, the spiritual meaning, the angel meaning, because there is deep, powerful messages in there for you. And sometimes it's to remind you that you're straying off of your path. And sometimes it's giving you a heads up that there's something exciting around the corner. So look up those things, okay, because those messages, that communication is coming in there for a reason for you. And it's interesting that we get the next two cards that actually came out together. I was only going to get two in total, and we got a bonus card. So we have Konas coming in, and we also have Thurisaz coming in here for you. Very interesting, because this one here brings about change and transformation and regeneration, right? Remember we said here we've got our uh, rainbow butterfly in this deck. Um, but butterflies do represent change and transformation. And so with here, um, you know, we do have change, but sometimes change comes in with a little bit of chaos, Okay, and spirits are really giving you some encouragement, okay, because this brings about um, a lot of firepower, a lot of energy. Um, this is you, you have a vision, you have a goal. This is your opportunity to create, to get inspired, okay, and you have a lot of power within to get what you want or to make the changes that you need to make or to find something new. This can also be the changes within you, but whenever we have changes within us, especially spiritual changes it does come with some challenges okay because we need to destroy something we need to knock something down in order to build something back up okay and change of all kinds is like that right think of we change jobs right we've got to let something go to allow the new to come in right unless you want to work multiple jobs or you know five jobs at a time which is probably not going not really feasible for you okay but you know but when we do welcome in the new or we are going through those times of change and transformation transformation it can it's very rewarding but there's also a little bit of a shake up that happens here as well okay so there may be something that you're faced with that is a little bit of a catalyst for you okay especially since we've got messages coming in and quite often what initiates and instigates us to take control and take charge of doing something different or making change is quite often some sort of revelation um, that's where we get our epiphany, right? It's very towery kind of um, energy that's coming in here for you today. So I think there's a lot of changes going on in the world right now. There's a lot of changes going on with individual people. There's a lot of changes going on with the economy, um, you know, with uh, people's careers. And it feels chaotic. It feels um, very uncertain. There's a lot of uncertainty in the world right now, right? And it's overwhelming sometimes, okay? So, but spirit wants you to know that whatever situation that you're in, you are protected and live your life here from the inside out. Project outwardly into the universe um, the change that you want to see, the energy that you want things to be, and things will be a little bit easier for you because, again, you can't control everything that's going on. And and, you know, curling up in the fetal position underneath your desk or something and sucking on your thumb or drinking a cup of coffee and just kind of rocking back and forth might be soothing um, and it might feel comforting, but it's not going to help anything, right? Um, as tempting as that may be uh, sometimes, okay? So spirit does, you know, does really want everybody to know that, you know, there are a lot of things going on in the world. There's a lot of things always going on in the world, right? Sometimes people go, oh, I can't wait for things to get back to normal. What really is normal? The more things change, the more they stay the same sometimes. Okay. And sometimes, you know, we are repeating history and we do see that kind of in the world here as well. There's reminiscence of 2008. Everyone had a massive recession. There's, you know, some uh, revisiting of some older energy from, you know, um, past kind of dictatorships and things like that too. So there's all sorts of things that are kind of familiar because they're repetitive, but not necessarily in a good way. So, but spirit does want you to know that out of chaos comes order. 
out of chaos comes enlightenment and change. So, you know, we all knew going into this year that it was going to be a little bit challenging and it is right now. And a lot of people are feeling a little bit overwhelming. So spirit wants you to, you know, fix, change, embrace the things that you can control and try and let go of the things you can't. Okay. And you know, take a little bit of, take a little bit of initiative maybe in your world too. If you've getting some deep insights that some things are about to rock in your world and you might not like the outcome, now is the time to take charge. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.